um, I wanted to tell you about this book um, by Danny Wallace. It's Hamish and the World Stoppers. Um, this is perfect for anybody who is a David Walliams fan or rolled down a bit stuck because you read all of those books um, and you kind of stand in the school library looking at books, not really sure what to choose. This is a um, really good next step for you. Um, it's a 4.8, so you'd find this on our yellow shelf in the um, accelerator reader section in the library, in the school library. Um, and it's about um, Hamish. Um, what would you do if the whole world just stopped? Yes, the whole world. Birds in the air, planes in the sky, and every single person on the planet except you. I'm going to read you a little bit from, from the story in a second. Um, but I just wanted to show you, and I know you'll think I'm completely sad. But I get so excited about a map. This is a beautiful detailed map in this um, front of the book and you can really see um, where the adventure takes place so you can follow what happens in the story. Um, and there's, I love the first picture here. So this is Hamish at school. Check out his uh, buddy behind there picking his nose. Um, so I'm going to read you the first couple of pages from the story. Um, it, it kind of ends on a cliffhanger um, and it's just to get you really excited so that I know that you'd want to read on. Hamish Ellaby's eyes were the size of Satsumas as he sat completely still in his chair and he sat completely still because he was totally and utterly petrified. This was so strange. What on earth was going on? Seriously? What on earth? It had all happened in an instant. The scariest, coolest, most awful, most brilliant, most horrible, most wonderful thing. Hamish wanted to get up and look around, but he couldn't. He was too frightened even to move a single muscle. This was incredibly weird. Just a matter of moments ago, Mr Gangley Longblather had been leaning forward onto a desk using just his knuckles the way he always did when he was about to ask Class 4E of Winterbourne School a question. Who can tell me about soil erosion, he'd said, and everybody's hearts had sunk at once, because if there's anything more boring than soil erosion, then no one's told me about it. Mr Longblather was one of those particularly boring teachers, with a particular talent for making particularly boring things even more particularly boring than normal. In this respect, at least, Mr Longblather was absolutely extraordinary. When the question had been asked, Hamish had stared down at his pencil case and made his special, ooh, let me think face. He ran his hand through the thick black hair his mum had called the mess and squeezed his huge greeny brown eyes shut, like he was trying really hard to come up with an answer. Sometimes he found that this was just enough to convince people he was actually thinking about soil erosion. It was not something he was at all concerned about, and to be honest, he didn't even really know what soil erosion was. Soil erosion, Mr Longblather had repeated, now looking a little peeved. Come on, 4E, soil erosion. Mr Longblather had then put his hands on his hips and sighed a deep sigh. Hamish kept looking at his pencil case. Surely someone knows something about... And there he paused. And Mr Longblather's pause continued. This was quite a dramatic pause, Hamish had thought. It would be a good pause to have in a soap opera or a TV talent show, he decided. But the pause would be over soon because that's what pauses do, don't they? They end. That's why they're a pause and not a stop. But this pause went on and on and on and then on some more. In fact, no one said anything for ages. The class had never been so quiet and it was really very awkward. So finally, Hamish raised his head and put up his hand. But nothing happened. Mr Longblather didn't say, Hamish Ellaby, you wonderful pupil, please tell us about everything you know about soil erosion. And he didn't say, Hamish Ellaby, you are the saviour of the school, the greatest child in all the land and possibly a future world famous expert in the field of soil erosion. He didn't even say, come on then, Hamish, spill the beans. Mr Longblather 
didn't say anything at all. And that was when Hamish realised that something was just a little bit wrong because then he finally looked up. Hamish could see that Mr Longblather was completely and utterly still. Frozen. A statue. Immobile. Not moving. Stuck. 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 Well, this was odd, thought Hamish. He frowned and he studied his teacher a little closer. I'll leave it there for you to continue. So give this book a go. Um, it's a fabulous adventure. Um, it's a laugh out loud um, story. Um, you will absolutely love it. Hamish and the World Stoppers by Danny Wallace. Bye.